For a while, all we heard was just sirens, you know what I mean? Just, just for a while, all we heard was just sirens coming from everywhere. BTV first brought you this breaking story Wednesday. Well, now we're learning more after two 15-year-old boys were struck by a car as they were riding a go-kart. Thanks for sticking with us live at 5 o'clock. I'm John Carter. Siobhan Bryan has the day off. If you missed it, this happened in Kannapolis along Cook Street. WBTV's David Wisnick covered the story live on Wednesday. He joins us live again tonight with new details. And David, I know you've gotten hold of the police report. What does it show and, and what do we know about the conditions of those boys? John, we were told that the boys are still in the hospital, but police didn't give any other details on that aspect of what happened. Now, as far as the police report on the accident, it shows that the two 15 year olds were on a go kart that went right through a stop sign at an intersection and was instructed by a car going 35 miles per hour. This was that scene moments later. Neighbors said they heard the impact and the reaction. I was sitting on my porch and I actually heard the impact. Yes, sir, from a block away. And I said somebody just hit somebody. And uh, we had heard a, a massive bit of uh, uh, sirens. Uh, we knew they were coming close. We had seen the traffic being diverted. The police report says two 15-year-old boys were on a go-kart going 25 miles an hour on Oakshade Avenue when they drove through the stop sign at the intersection with Cook Street. That's where they were hit by a 2007 Honda going 35 miles an hour. Both boys were taken to trauma centers. And uh, really saddens me that this has happened. Neighbor Herb Sisk says he's seen go-karts and other off-road vehicles on these streets before and was worried that something like this might happen. They have to follow the laws and the laws of the road are that go-kart shouldn't be out here. It should not even be on the road. That's out of bounds. Uh, you know, you know we, we roll around in, in, in communities. Safe communities across crossing the road? No, man. Today, only the markings made by police investigators remain in the spot where the crash occurred. Neighbors hope they won't have to see a scene like this one again and are hopeful the boys will recover. It was kind of uh, shocking. Yeah, it's definitely one way to describe what the neighbors saw out here. Now, earlier today on social media, I saw a post from someone who said she was related to at least one of those boys on the go-kart. In that post, she said they were not riding in the street. She said they were riding along the side of the street. But the police report directly contradicts that statement. I tried to reach out to this person but did not hear back. Reporting live in Kannapolis, David Wisnett, WVTV, on your side. All right, David, thanks, and we're hoping the best for those boys.